Well, if you are about to head out the door this morning, do you have to charge your car every night to get to work? If so, JEA needs your help. Signups are happening right now for a new study on how the expected boom in electric vehicles will impact Jacksonville's power grid. And for more on that, we go to On Your Side's Renati Gregorio. With that boom, it's already been pretty big here in town. Yeah, it has, and we're talking about the number of electric vehicles expected to be many times greater pretty soon. Florida is already the second in the nation for EV sales, too. So how do we make sure this doesn't increase and uh, cause harm to the city's power grid? That's what you can help figure out. Right now, we're showing up out to 2030, going from 7,000 today to 40,000. A nearly 500% increase in the number of battery-only electric vehicles in Jacksonville by the end of this decade. That's what JEA's Tony Reynolds expects. He says it's vital JEA understands how an increase like that could impact the city's power grid. Eventually in the future, if the growth projections are right, we're going to get cluster charging. We're going to get two or three homes on, this, on a single transformer with maybe multiple EVs all trying to charge at the same time that would overload the current residential transformers and that current infrastructure. To stop this from happening, a new study JEA needs your help with. If you own an EV, you can sign up. Reynolds says the study will also come down to saving you money because if they're able to make changes now, they may be able to avoid big spending on infrastructure later. If you sign up, you could get $7 a month for the year that the study lasts. They need 400 people before they can actually start it. You can see how to sign up on this firstcoastnews.com story. Renato Di Gregorio, First Coast News, on your side.